Hi guys. It is still a spectacularly gorgeous day. You're in the end times. You're on Memorial Day 2019, Monday, May 27th, 2019. So the little dog and I have returned from our latest little foray searching for our new bivouac for the end times. Coming back and uh, just want to pass on a little tidbit <coughs> uh, brought to me by our, our Alert Tribes member and my second hand behind the scenes man at Collapse Chronicles. That's our Alert Tribes member Jay from Brazil. It's found this little nugget on uh, a YouTube channel. What is the name of this YouTube channel? Pursuit of Wonder. Pursuit of Wonder. This was published about a month ago and has received over 1 million views with 80,000 likes. The name of the title is Who is the Doomer? Dealing with an Age of Hopelessness. And uh, I am going to put the link to this excellent, this little 10 minute video. I'm going to put the link, encourage you to watch the whole 10 minute video and check out some of this other guy's videos. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss. I looked at about six or seven and this was by far the best one. So we're going to hear a couple of snippets to give you the uh, a taste of, of this video and of this channel that you need to check out. Uh, and we're going to introduce a new word into the end times glossary. And that is the word bloomer. Never heard the word bloomer, but after watching this uh, performance artist Sam Mitchell said this is the single best explanation of Hambone Little Tail that Sam Mitchell, that performance artist Sam Mitchell has ever heard for people trying to, uh, as, as Sam Mitchell is, desperately trying to figure out who the hell the fictional character of Hambone Little Tail is. Uh, this is as good an explanation of who is Hambone that I have ever heard. So we're going to, we're going, he, he's already talked about doomers and boomers. And he's moving into the discussion of bloomers. But this is from the middle of the, uh, this is right in the middle. Take it away. Whatever, I don't know what the name of this fellow is. Well, how do I get it to go? There we go. Usually associated with a specific generation within current society. The Doomer character is especially... And of course, I've already fucked it up. Okay, this is, this is very high tech. Okay, we're going to jump ahead to the middle of the video. Alternatively, Schopenhauer provided one other solution, engaging in the aesthetics of art and philosophy as much as possible. In this, Schopenhauer suggested that things like poetry, theater, music, paintings, literature, theory, etc. have the power to reveal and share truth, Performance a truth that art. liberates the individual during the moments he or she is engaging in it. By expressing our pains and sufferings or engaging in the expressions of others, we feel less imprisoned and less disillusioned in ourselves. With this, one does not need to find anything worthwhile or ultimately meaningful in the materialistic or traditional world beyond the mere expression of one's disinterest and pain within it. In expressing pain and absurdity through arts and philosophy, the pain and absurdity is transmuted into wonder and purpose for oneself as well as others. Interestingly enough, the Doomer meme itself embodies this idea. The creation, sharing, and engaging of Doomer content is an example of a Doomer expressing their sense of doom and translating it into something enjoyable and meaningful. In an attempt to take this idea further, we will look to the philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche. A and then, uh, so that was uh, Schopenhauer, one of my heroes, Schopenhauer. Then he uh, talks a little bit about Nietzsche 
to come up with drawing the dots between all of this and connecting them to doomers, or in this case, ah, shit, in case, in this case, bloomers, but of course, uh, this computer has uh, fucked up, so we're going to come in Each about of these characters here. represents a distinct personality and self-expression of one's unique truth. The utilization of the suffering and chaos in life and turning it into wonder, wisdom, and greatness. With this in mind, if we square away our life as best we can, accepting the inevitable chaos and suffering, if we obtain the money we can, want, and need to sustain our life, attempting to keep a close eye on our unconscious, irrational desires, and if we live with an interest to create personal meaning and engage in expressive activities, then we can build a life worth living, even in the face of apparent chaos, doom, or futility. There you go. This attitude can be found in the hopeful Doomer character, Bloomer. A character who, in the meme, possesses the awareness of the sad and painful realities of life, but still sees that there can be purpose to it all. Still sees that there is an opportunity for meaning and wonder to be created and experienced. And that, however messy the world may be, it is still worth playing in and trying to make the most of. There you go. So, uh... A little bit of a sweet ending. This whole channel is kind of uh, these little these little feel good pursuit of wonder. These little fuzzy feel good trying. The whole channel is 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 pretty much dedicated to turning lemonade to turning life's lemons into lemonade. But uh, anyway, check it out. So this is your old bloomer, <coughs> your old fictional character bloomer. Um, is Sam Mitchell the bloomer or is Hambone Littletail the bloomer? I got to think on this one. Get out there and bloom while you still can on this gorgeous day in the end times. Bye guys.